Hey everyone, the ZimWriter software gets a major update today with open router support that brings a lot more AI models into ZimWriter, including Perplexity Online's model. It's an AI model that will go out and fetch real-time data, factual data from the internet that's all now inside of ZimWriter. Number two, we have the URL merge feature. Now you can write one article based on up to five different URLs. It will summarize the data from all those five URLs, write one article for that. And then we also have an update to the custom outline feature. Let's dive into the details. I'll share with you how it all works. So first of all, we have open router support. You can go to openrouter.ai and make an account and get an API key. When you do that, it will unlock certain models. So let's go to the bulk writer, for instance. Anything with an OR in parentheses is an open router supported model. Now you might be scratching your head thinking, wait a second, I see GPT 3.5 turbo in there supported by open router. What does that mean? Isn't that an open AI model? It is. Think of open router as, well, a router. You have one input, that's your API key, and then multiple different destinations it can go to. It can go to OpenAI, it can go to Anthropic, it can go to Perplexity, and then also has some self-hosted models. That one open router API key can access multiple models through their open router platform. Couple benefits to this. First of all, you might be in a country that's prohibited you from accessing some of these models. Maybe you can't access OpenAI's models. Maybe you can't access Anthropic's models. Now you can access those models using Open Router. The other cool thing is we have these other models that aren't normally available inside of ZimWriter. So for instance, we have this Perplexity SL Online model. This is absolutely insane because this model will go out to the internet and fetch real-time factual data. Let me show you how it works. So I'll open up the advanced triggers. And first of all, we'll do a test with GPT 3.5 Turbo, just a model that doesn't access the internet. We'll ask it who created ZimWriter. We'll see what it says. And if you don't already know, I made ZimWriter. <laughs> it was created by Zimmy. No, it was not created by Zimmy. So OpenAI does not know because it's not accessing the internet. So we'll go down here and select Perplexity Online. And now we'll try who created ZimWriter. ZimWriter, an advanced AI writing tool, was created by Matt Zimmerman. It fetched this from the internet. You want to even get crazier, watch this. What is ZimWriter? We'll highlight that and I'll do another magic command, control one. And we're asking Perplexity online right now, what is ZimWriter? So Perplexity is going out to the internet and figuring all this stuff out. ZimWriter is a window-based AI content writing tool designed by Matt Zimmerman. It accesses a bunch of models. Here's some different features. All of this is data, all right, from the internet that Perplexity SL Online retrieved. Very powerful stuff. In addition, you can use that model with SERP scraping. So you wanna write an article about reasons why to go to college, and you wanna SERP scrape that with ScrapeL, but then you can also supplement that information with Perplexity SL Online. You're hitting Google and you're hitting the reader of your article with a double whammy of factual data now, some of these models will be available in the AI writing model, and then some of them will be available in the ancillary tasks model. Not all of them will be available in here, only the lesser expensive ones, keep that in mind. And then finally, you won't see any of these additional models until you actually go in here and add your API keys for the respective services. You can read more about the models in here, like Perplexity. You can read more about uh, Sonar Online in here. Again, not all of the models on Open Router have been added into ZimWriter. I did a very exhaustive test. Only the models which can support ZimWriter prompts have been added. So that's the first update to ZimWriter. Very powerful. I can't wait to hear how you guys are using it. The second feature has been highly requested by a lot of users. So it's called the URL merge feature. This allows you to go into the bulk writer and you can put in your title. So here's the title. And then after the title, you can put in up to five different URLs. And these URLs will be used, all right, ZimWriter will go to each of these and scrape them and summarize them and use them to write this article. So this will be used in place of SERP scraping. If you have another uh, title down here, how to wash a dog, and you do not have any URLs underneath this one, then this one will use SERP scraping and this one will not. It will just use the five URLs that you provided. You don't have to provide five. You can just provide one if you want to. Here is an example of the article that we created using those five URLs. And what's cool, by the way, is one of those URLs was a YouTube video. So we can mix and match. If you use ScrapeAll, you can do YouTube videos, you can do Amazon sites. 
whatever mix and match your different URLs. It did a great job. I've discovered a game changer in AI writing tools. It's called ZimWriter. This powerhouse combines advanced AI models with robust SEO features, making it a content creator's dream with the ability to generate up to a thousand blog posts at once. It's really good. It's a very well-written article. Uh, did a great job on it. So that is the new URL merge feature inside of the bulk writer. You can read more about it by clicking this link in the change log. And this details how to use it and then some things to keep in mind while you use it. What's again, really cool is you can mix and match your models. So we can have our title in here with our five different URLs and use whatever model you want to write the article, including the perplexity online model for extra factual information. The final update I added was I moved the custom outline storage. So custom outlines. These were normally stored in the settings.ini file and that limited you to 10 different uh, outlines. Now we've moved that over to the database. It all happened behind the scenes and you can store theoretically up to a thousand different outlines. So that's much more power if you are a custom outline power user. So that's it for the updates. I want to hear how you like it. I want to hear how you're using it. Drop a comment down below, like subscribe, all that good stuff. There's links in the description to ZimWriter and also to my get prompted course. If you don't know, I've released a course to help you prompt like me, prompt like an expert. There's a link down below to get it. There's a special sale I have right now. Get it before the price increases. Other than that, good luck with your content generation and I'll talk to you later.